Hey guys, this is Pat. I sure appreciate you stopping by here just for a minute to learn a little bit about this free e-course on pergola plants. You know, I got fascinated with pergolas a number of years ago, and I did a, a lot of research. And I decided to, to share what I've learned in this e-course and the website that I built. So I wanted to share with you uh, what you'll get by, by signing up for this course. And you can do that by just entering your name and email address in the form below. But when I was first getting started in this thing, I didn't realize that there were so many things that you had to pay attention to. First of all, the location. Do you want this thing to be attached to your house? Do you want it to be freestanding? Maybe you want it out in the garage. Maybe you want it in front of your property. And what things ought you to consider when you're first looking for to place a pergola? Now listen, when I first started looking into this, I didn't even know what the word pergola meant. I mean, I'd seen these uh, sort of garden features in different people's yards, and I liked how simple they were and how diverse they are. Now that's what, that's what really attracted me to this in the first place. But here I'm going to talk all about location and things you have to consider, like uh, even things like shade and the location of the sun and seasons and things like that will be very helpful to you. Now a lot of times if you're building uh, a larger structure you do need to consider zoning and building permits. In fact in many places you can be sited uh, and it can cost you hundreds of dollars. In fact if you if you don't pay attention to easements and other things you may even have to tear down your pergola and I've heard of this happen with some other uh, individuals, individuals that I've worked with. I'm going to give you a whole lot of ideas, about 25 different designs that you can take a look at. Now, everything from, from attached to your house type structures, to garden structures, to others made out of uh, different materials. I'll give you a lot of good ideas here. Now you may just want to buy a kit, and one of the nice things about a kit is oftentimes you can have it delivered to you within a week, and on a weekend you and one other person can set this whole thing up and have it have it uh, providing shade and beauty in no time at all. And I also am going to share with you uh, a 12 by 14 pergola plan and it will include all the dimensions on the supply list. So that will give you a, a, an easy and quick start if, if uh, that meets your needs. Otherwise, uh, I'll provide some options for how you can get some other pergola plants that might uh, that might be interesting to you. And then I'm going to package all this into two ebooks that I think will really help you. Uh, these are uh, printable and you can actually take the 12 by 14 supply list, print it off, take it right down to Lowe's or Home Depot or wherever your hardware store is and they can help you get all the materials that you need to get started right away. You can see here on um, the Pergola Plans course, um, the table of contents where I talk about the location of the pergola, the zoning and building permits, and pergola designs. And you can kind of get a picture of the different types of designs that I walk through here in this course. And here's the free 12 by 14 pergola plan. And you can see in the table of contents how I have this broken down. So I actually take each level and describe the dimensions uh, of each of these timbers and what's required. And so you could actually just print this off and take it down to a Home Depot or Lowe's or the hardware store and they could help you get everything you needed to have uh, to build your own pergola. So listen, uh, I hope this has been helpful for you and uh, if you would like to sign up to get this delivered to you free and immediately, then just fill out the form below by entering your name and email address and then you'll receive a follow-up email. Watch for it. If it doesn't come, then be sure to check your spam filter. Sometimes the spam filter will check some of these. And then confirm your email address uh, by following the instructions in the email and you'll be added to my mailing list and I will send these off to you right away. Hey, look forward to, uh, to getting to know you and answering any questions that you have. My uh, name again is Patrick Holder, and I'll talk to you soon.